proud to be Sarah Nadian. Of course. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Young in Freetown, and today we're doing a segment called Growing Up Salon with Raki and Tara. Um, so, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm um, Raki Sisse. Hi, I'm Tara, Tara Magic. So the aim of our video today is to just talk about experiences growing up in Sierra Leone and fond memories that we've had and just kind of reflecting on childhood and things like that. That's our aim for this video today. So the first question is, where were you born? Freetown, I think um, Colibanks Hospital. I don't know the address, but I know it's Colibanks okay. in Freetown. Okay. Uh, I was born at Adelaide Street. In yeah. no, sorry, Bowing State. Yeah, yeah, Bowing State. In Freetown, mm -hmm. I was born at home. So. Oh, yeah, that's State. interesting. Yeah. Okay. 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 And who's on a family come out? Uh, my dad is from Nigeria, and my mom. My mom is from Sarawak. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom is from Freetown, mm -hmm. which is Korea, and my dad is from Oxlocko, who's Tanzania. Okay. And how you said your dad's Nigerian, you never go Nigeria. Mm -hmm. No one day, you know, just for good. No, I did for good. Well, now, not you're not, not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, because actually, like, I lost my dad. Like, my papa oh, don't die yet, so like, not in for them. Like, me have been more intense. I get that. I yes, get that. like, so you get an idea name. Falake. <laughs> Falake. I like that name. Fantastic. Being that you will just say, yeah, you both are unions, apart from Creole. Those other salon dialect, um, they will not have it all. I saw that some ingredients come in there and to me, and also. Okay, teach me something. Teach me something. That's the seven. That's the seven. I'm going to be set. Can you not name it? I'll be there. I'm not even sure. But you know, you don't have people that hear the ingredients that were there, and that's the Timmy, which now. Second, uh, yeah, things like that. There, I just said, yeah, I so I will pass society to meet people, and then I will just say that at least I'll be respectful enough. Okay, to say that, yes, okay, that's, okay, that's good. That's something, yeah. <laughs> and then I think now, bike can no master me. Oh, yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you. That's no miss of me. What am I just saying? Jarama. Oh yeah, yeah. Now ask you, that's gonna tell you. Then I know something back in Fula. Yeah. Um, action, think left. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. So at least we we view as then go then go down a few words here and there. So at least one that we cannot talk no more now for the talking. Throw some words in there where you need to put them from other tribe there. Okay. So being that you were. Born here and you grew up here. Who school there when I go on a member? Well, primary for me was Tar Hill Kindergarten. Me too. And then we <laughs> we'll come one day secondary school go international okay. school. Okay. Middle SOS. I'm a minor. I'm oh. since class one. Okay. Yes. Till I take class exam. Oh. So I want to spend that day like learning and you know education in Sierra growing up how was your experience for me i will say given the school i go one it's a private school so yeah. it's a different experience from let's say the Wawa government school okay but then for me i will say it was a very good one because i know say i get a very good foundation okay so i believe that that was a very good experience and the people who i meet today and all of that i still get most of it in my life and That's all of good. that so yeah, oh, really nice. Okay, okay. Sarah, what about you? Yeah, um, pretty much the same thing I can say. Mm -hmm. Like since like our private school, yeah. so like it was a good experience and like a good foundation compared to the other schools. So it was good. When I get any holiday, that we go to public school routes at all? Yes. yes. Well, we we, we left uh, primary school. Yeah, mm -hmm. some went to so public, public school. schools. Okay. Yes, for higher education. Yes. Okay. Yes. But okay. then we got me particularly continuing the private school line, and it was all good, honestly. But even in comparison, back then and now, it is not the same. That's it's, what I keep hearing. Yes, so what's the, the what are the differences to back then and now in terms of education in Sierra Leone? I think the standards have dropped. Like. Public and private or just 
Both. Yes. Both. Yes. It, 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 it's, for me, I feel like it's worse in private schools because one, you pay so much more money and yeah. then you need to get money's worth. Like, yeah. It is so sad. I, I know things that way, maybe it's about the class one and their class one, like Mr. and nephew, the way you ask them, they don't know. Really? Which you do not school. Which you do not. Yes. Ah, that's yes. a shame. Yeah. And especially as yes, school fees just the go yes, by year, by year, so. by year. And then we don't even have that wide of a variety, even in terms of private schools. So you'd think that if you're going to one and you're paying so much money, education would be. But it's not. So, okay, that's an interesting point. Okay. So if you were to have kids in the next few years, where would you take, would you do public or private? Would you want to, for them to have an education in Sierra Leone? What would you do given the state of education now? What we just talked about <laughs> 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 Look at your kids, I'll be like, you want to take this first. Okay, I think what's important is mm -hmm. the foundation. And I yes. think they can get and then our host. Yeah. Yes. So I don't think I'd mind for me to pick and go school and salary okay. like primary. Like okay. Honestly. Okay. Like you can able to do much with them from us. Okay. Yes. But secondary and college. Yeah. Uh, okay. Same for me. Yeah. But me primary, primary, primary school. school. Picking can get so much in our house. True. Yeah. Okay. Because another let me say what you think. I always only think that day because I'm like I feel like if I get me away, we can keep go go to school. If I, I have the opportunity or the, the chance, yeah. you go to school half a day and you come home and you, you're homeschooled the rest of the uh, day. That's because, yeah, like, in my own opinion, they learn more at home, especially if you, the parents, uh, you know, you're invested. Yeah, you're active in, yeah, the, you're active in the learning process. You know, you, you make every opportunity a, a, a learning opportunity, okay. like something happens, you teach them. Like, okay. I think it works. That's a good point. Okay. So, what's in that fondest memory you think you get from being in school here in Sierra Leone? Nah, yeah, tell kindergarten you have to speak English all, all the, the time. time. And, you know, it, they do them in such a way that even to you friends, you can't uh, talk Korean to them. Mm -hmm. Because there's this thing where if you talk Korean to somebody, they report to you. And then you get, you get like, you get pinned like a badge, which tells the whole school that you are coming to, you know. Yeah, talking about That's it. very so, good, actually. Yeah, so everybody expected that you had to speak English in school. And, and as long as you're in your school uniform. So even on your way home, so when you get home, take off the uniform, then it's career all the way. Um, my fondest memory of school, I think of, um, like, a week or two before the annual sports. Mm -hmm. Like, those are the chill days. <laughs> We oh, go to yes. school just yeah. for practice for sport. Yeah. So you can wear normal clothes. Yeah. And we'll be always the go because you know we um the golf club just the opposite from school like that's Oh yeah. So now yes. the golf club will be the go practice. Mm -hmm. Ah, so then it'll be fun. Then we can maybe just fun. You know, wear normal oh, clothes. Yeah. yeah. And go outside the golf golf club and just chill. You just chill with your buddy there. So you know, you know, know when they practice for running. No, they practice. I'm gonna be me. Never athletic in any way. Shape oh, and form. Yes. So, <laughs> what do you mean? I've been in athletic class school. Uh -huh. I've been around and I've been to this long jump. Oh. Okay. I've been to long jump. And where is she? Where is she? I've been to um, filling the baskets and. That is not athletic. Oh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh, it's a. You're not wrong. Pink sumji. I'm not wrong. Pink sumji. I'm not wrong. Pink sumji. Well, you try. You, you try for the I did. I did um, 100 meters, uh, 400 and 800 meters. I think that was my that was my forte. But wow. Yeah, but don't have changed. No. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm no, we don't yeah. ever really use for anything, but as I said, now for just go chill. Because yes. for primary school, we use for we don't have time here. Yes. So we use for work. I go all the way. There was this open spot at back of uh, Parliament. Oh. So the fun part was every class you had to hold like you, you were in like a line of three. Yeah. And then on all the work I would be. Like you had to walk along the streets I and can if you know your teachers they are long telling you to be on your best bit. But it was an fun to be out of doing school. something different. Yeah. I think the earlier years, yeah, I, I know, I get pictures of me with the ribbing, you know, I think I can't say corner. Well, I, 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 I,
but I see, I see about time. Like, I think it's for one and a half. Yeah, like, that's not for nah. me. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's fair enough. Like, and now, so coming back and me observing um, school picking them, and I see say most of them, the way they get to school is most of them make him walk most of the way, or they don't take public transport for like the rest of the journey. Um, I would not be the do for go school back in the day. It's like transport. Okay. Well, like, yeah, my mommy go take me to the junction, yeah. put me in the taxi. Because me, they are bad day, so mm -hmm. they just like me from the school gates. Oh. Yes, I know you need to cross the streets. Wow, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what about you? Primary school, up to class four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mid me there when they carry you okay. go and then they walk out and go inside school okay. and all that and then, but then after like after class four, mommy be in the office not there too far. So it'd be there like you allow for wakaka no me office. Okay. But then after like uh, a time also, yeah, it's a big waka for me to go now. Okay. Like the first time I did it, then still don't never say a lot. So then still don't <laughs> they look I then I was the chill yeah. like I'm coffee. <laughs> then they look <laughs> for me. <laughs> She was like, you know, you can walk a car. Because it was more for I, well, I became an older cousin. So, oh, okay. so I prefer for walk okay. with them. Walking, even when we go secondary school. Mm -hmm. Motokai, they went for can't take you now. School oh, boy. Other, but we didn't walk her. Like, like, walking home, it was like good. And we didn't walk on yeah. that way just because we wanted. Yeah. It's not that we're not going to class, but it's not that cars were not available. Yeah. But then, it was just one. Yeah, you had a very good nice. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, so that's not a memory for you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Will you still the SOS? Yes. That's like nice. just not um the walk from school. Yeah. So up lonely if I take the because so everybody yes. at this spot. Okay. So you can never take time for the kid. just cross over the stable, just like walk up all the way up. Because <laughs> it's been fun. That's cool. And then um did you ever feel like your parents were worried like hey person go take me pick you know, hey go lost or anything like that, especially back then as compared to maybe now, maybe Honestly, I would say not as much. Of course, there's always that fear. Yeah, you know, parents are always get that name, but back then it wasn't that much. Because I remember in the mornings you walk, like you see, mama, the parents that they walk out the beginning and they go left them at a certain point yeah. where they don't stay safe and then go walk out. Yeah. But now, I still see the kid and they do that. And they yeah, go, I, I know even me, I will feel like no, 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 no. <laughs> so what's we are gonna do on the weekends? What was there to do in Freetown back then when we used to go to school? <laughs> so I look like I say guess what interesting no, I for you think, look at if you I think weekends would be like you would take class in. Uh I now we are going to class five and okay. that was okay. Saturday. Okay. No, I think that on okay. weekends. Yeah. I I go last my was for like an hour or two and then I'm back home. And okay. Mostly honestly it's friends. I was with friends most of the day. That would be cause they're not actually meet friends there. Okay. Weekend now we also always you get to watch TV because during the week now I have to watch TV after six o'clock. Okay. So yes. there was no way you got, but then on the weekends you got to watch TV all day as much as you want. Yeah. And yeah. So go for and party there for me. No, they're not really grooming me God, so <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know how <laughs> such thing as sleepover there was you go meet your party there and then you go back to your house yeah. like what's you to go sleep not at the house I think the only time when you go to the house like my granny and my auntie and then I have all my friends like no. you told me over the weekend you go Friday after school on Friday you stay there till Sunday Sunday after wow Sunday and your person I'm gonna say it's that I think we have big class for eh? uh, yeah let's say Ten? Ten. Nine, okay. Ten, ten years old. Yeah, nine, ten. Keep I was not doing it. I like sleep over to my party from five. Well, yeah. me no one day get sleep over, and so. I <laughs> have to take that. Like, we need for study. Oh, um, no, me only begin to do the study over our thingy. Oh, so what did they do before? Wait, they say. I just go to me. 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 Okay, um, 
the, the early years of my life, yeah. I did not also with my cousin. My mom and her sisters uh, used to live in the same building. So okay. I became cousin then for Hangui. But then after some time when everybody knew, it was just me and my mom. So okay. well, I feel like for him, it so was like time. Yes. Yeah, let us be good. Let us be But yeah, but I'm so close to Mr. just came. Oh, but you only said six months. We watched the road. That's very interesting how there's very many differences and we're all here around the same time. <laughs> okay, cool. What kind of game that when I've been a player on us more like what, what used to be your favorite games like playing? What are you gonna look forward to? Naughty, I die. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be like balance more, but I'll not be really good at that. So I die is off such as keep it up. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, yeah. Uh, how how you gonna say naughty like but no, I'm not saying naughty, what's your name? Uh, you you know you count basically from in ten oh, twenty thirty. I don't know. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Well, I hope <laughs> you understand this. It's okay. We will never go here. We will go there. We will never go there. And this one is for me. Touch. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Touch. You can draw some big. I I played on that yeah. school. It was like. Uh, it was a big circle yeah. and no, it was a circle. Like, okay, maybe the different one. I don't know. No, like when the one person in the for go out of the circle, then yeah. the other people in the for stop them. So you call them balance. No, no, no. And when they touch you, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, balance more. But you like balance more. Yeah, I was just fun. When I play football, that's it. No, 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 no. Yeah. But this other game, like, this other game, like, uh -huh. like, I think they very common if you grow up as a little bit. Where all of us they imagine things like, okay, this is my host, you know, the auntie. No, you know, the mama, <laughs> mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Play yeah. cook, play yeah. cook, play cook, play cook. Yeah. 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 Any kind like, of thing. Like, you remember how many times you go to leaves and yeah. 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 Oh, you know, the fish, you know, the fish. 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 I think my last week, like my cousin, like she's four. I didn't notice I didn't have though, like it beats always towards them. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> like, keep quiet. So, like in a play, things they don't play with people. But I learned that from now, you know. Honestly, it's that I'm not a civilian and they don't like it. Yeah. It, those used to be so much, so much fun. fun. And now, Nothing, nothing. Instead, Spider Man, Flash, mm -hmm. and they want to upload an iPad, and you know, phone. You know, that is, I feel like that's one thing Ooh, that should, should be enforced. I think so. That, that's one thing that should be enforced in yeah. schools, like playtime. Play, yeah. You know, let them, even during the sporting activities, yeah. it's not just about the athletes. Them, um, let them make up. Not everyone is. Yes, let them yeah. make up for them before everybody. Okay guys, so now we've kind of had a flashback, we've talked about growing up in Sierra Leone. More recently, I know, you know, you've both gone to uni here. What uni did you go to? What did you study? How was that experience of, you know, going to university? How long did it take? Um, what were some of the obstacles? <laughs> what were the positives? You know, tell us your experiences here in Sierra Leone. I went to the Farabee College, okay. University of Sierra Leone. Okay. I uh, studied mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. It's a five year course. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> and. <laughs> five years. I was, uh, it, it's. It wasn't my favorite place. Okay. It wasn't. I, I would say I, I did not have the college experience I hoped to. Do. So for me, it was just. You know, go there, learn. Come, you know, we didn't have hostels, so okay. they, yeah, we didn't stay on campus. So you go in the morning, take yeah. your classes, and come back. And where do you say you live? Uh, well, it's not. It wasn't uh, too far from the college. So, okay. Yeah. So commuting wasn't that big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But why was it not the experience that you wanted it or were hoping for it to be? Because. <laughs> It's oh, just, I feel, you know, that's just, it's just the whole, you know, okay, first of all, there's movies, there's TV that tells you one thing, oh. and then uh, before our time, there are people who used to leave there, you know, in the hostels and okay. all, and then there's their own stories, and then okay. there's our own story, which is like, what happened, uh, yeah, so. It just it's all for it, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is also what happened, because you go there, and 
you know, and it's like the system itself. It's not just the um, level of education. That's okay. one thing. That's, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. The system. You go for registration. Yeah. You go for, you know, to get your grades. You go for different things. The entire system is just... It's tedious. So is that just, just that in place and no one follows it, or is there no system and a system or in place? No, I, I wouldn't say that. I would say there's a system, but it's just so archaic. Mm. And then you know, because it's so archaic, you have most people trying to bypass or just trying to fast track it, mm. and then. You know, even when you want to go by the system itself, it's just, it's tedious and it makes the whole learning experience not a good one and the atmosphere is not as conducive as I thought it would be. So for me, honestly, it wasn't the best experience that I hoped I was going to be. That's a shame. What about you, Tony? Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. From registration, from, oh, from the my very first day, from, from my very first day, was like, yeah, registration. Yeah. You have to be in the line for like hours for the registration yes, line. Yes, yes, registration really? line. Yes. yes, there's a line. And is there a computer system or is everything paper? Well, it starts off paper. I don't, I don't do that. No, I don't think so. Like computers. It's like a form. Oh, it's just it's like a form you have to fill. Okay. And you didn't have like just for somebody to sign. Yeah, it's just to sign. Yes. Yeah, just for one person to sign. And that, that's just one thing. <laughs> you start in the line. Yeah. That didn't even guarantee you say yeah. you get that word after they sign. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you have people who you know go through college like two three years. Yeah. They don't like this. I'm not kidding you. Mm-hmm. But then when they're year two and you register for you year one, yeah, yeah. you have people who do the college frowns upon it and yeah. all of that. Yeah, but that's just what happened. Yeah, and because the system is so old, and if it was computerized, you know this person did not. Yeah, you have to go back and so check. Thank you, because yeah. of the back and forth, they cannot keep complete track of mm-hmm. everything. So a lot falls through the crack. So you think a lot needs to be done yes. to so the college for the yes. college. And you both went to Yes. What did you study for? Uh-huh. Did you enjoy it? How long was that? Was it also five years? Five years. Okay, okay. And you weren't on campus either? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not by choice. <laughs> okay. And so, and then in terms of like the social aspects, when I've been joining any clubs, like I know there's a few clubs I've had at FPC. I did. Um, and, any reason why you didn't join any clubs? Did you? No, I didn't join no. Me too. Okay. I- for me, yeah. one, it was, okay, first of all, there's the fact that it was frowned upon by the time we got there. You know, Dirty there had been, yeah, well, by parents. Okay. Say, no, not, not the us, you know, young. Okay. You, know, young okay. Young. So you go to college, everybody expects, oh, it's so much more fun to join a club and all of that. Yeah. I got there, I was like, I don't know any of the clubs, I don't think I know anybody in any of the clubs, uh, and none of them was appealing to, to me. you. Okay. But then the idea was you join a club, you get to go to more parties, yes. you get to go. Uh, so I, so but, yes, I so almost so joined. But then that's the thing, I didn't join any clubs, but I. I could, I can say I parted more than some people. Oh, I did, yes. I, I did, yes. okay. okay. I got to go to all the club parties, and so by the end of my first day, I was like, why bother? Exactly, because you're bother? still getting the benefit of yeah, not even so, part of any club. So exactly. Then, okay, so. that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So, I think um, my problem with the club room, yeah. in the FPC, like if you join a particular club, mm-hmm. You only get to be with those. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. I yes. couldn't do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's very. Really I don't get to you. People. You get Taiwan. You they sit down with yeah. them. Like, oh, oh cool. yes. It's kind of an exclusive kind of. Yeah. Like, click. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so and so. I'm not the clicky type. Yeah. I would say when it comes to so I have friends from various clubs so. And, and I liked it that way. Like but that then too. if you join one, mm-hmm. and th- that means when you're up at the uni, you yeah. can't um, socialize with them. Oh. Only out, yeah. Only, okay. Like you would say hi, you would meet along the way and say, but to actually sit and hang with your friends you like that. Yeah, it, it was the club. Yeah. Interesting. About negatives here and there with FBC, but what are some positive um, um, experiences? <laughs> Memories. Why you don't um, know? Like, you, have, you know, for every negative, it has to be 
me some positive Well, I, I, I am getting my degree, so yes, that is yes. positive. <laughs> I am a college graduate. Yes, thank now. God. Yes. And are you and friends with some of the people who you went to study oh, yes. with? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Friendships. Yeah. Met people there. And yeah. So we went there together. So. That was good too. Mm-hmm. And okay, you meet interesting people. Yeah. That is what I think that is the best part. That FBC supply. Yes. Yeah. A wide you know, people come from all over the country because it's I think even when we started it was like one of the few colleges it, yeah, it was one of the few colleges available yeah. and that um, offers a wider range of That's courses. true, they do, yeah. So people come from all over the country, so you meet such a wide variety of people. That's good. So yeah, that is one thing that made it very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sarah? I think my friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet my friends then they end. They get for dinner my life forever. Like, That's really yes, nice. I'll meet my best friends in a college. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, see, that's, that's a really good point. Point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, in terms of FBC and going then, I know you guys are graduates or graduate graduates. I'm graduating. Graduate. So, would you next use? Week. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, next time. So you know, um, obviously, going stepping out of uni into the working world, um, would you is FBC in like the the lecturers and the teachers that you have there are they open to the idea of being you know your references being your referees if you want to apply for a job is that something that you can use and then also in fbc or well just colleges in general here um are there ever any trainings on cvs and you know here telling like you're leaving you know you guys are you're kind of on your way out so is there any guidance like that for you know well i can only really speak for my own faculty yeah. engineering faculty yeah um, Yes, for the referees, yes, you can meet your your lecturers, your HODs, or even the dean. Okay. You can meet him if he knows you're a very good student, yeah. and he knows he can vouch for you, then yes, he'll sign on as a referee. Okay. And for the training, um, in your final year, you're sent out for three months. Okay. Yeah, into the industry, so... An industry related to your degree? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, you're sent out for three months, and then you come back in, you know, do a report on that. Do you get to pick where you go? Uh, if you're lucky enough. Okay. If you're lucky or if you know someone in a position that can get you uh, in, uh, you come and tell your um, HOD that, oh, I've been um, offered an internship here. Okay. So can I do it here? Yeah. If they see it's related and you can learn and get you know, t- the training you need, yeah. they will sign up on it. Okay. But other than that, they send out um, letters mm-hmm. to different uh, companies here and the ones that yeah they just slot you yeah, in. They work you in. I don't know for my department I don't think they'll help you in getting an internship. Okay. Or maybe if you get the internship and you want your lecturer or your dean to be or maybe write your letter okay. then maybe they'll do it okay. if you meet them or okay. I don't and what about like training like I was saying for CV? Do, where do you learn how to write a good CV? I would say it's not readily available, but I was fortunate enough to have that training. Okay. Um, yes, uh, this past year, yeah. yeah, they had a training on that for engineers, for oh, the engineering yeah. faculty. Engineering. Yeah, okay. engineering faculty. Okay. We had someone come in <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> give a talk on soft skills okay. and things like that. So now I was in the engineering sector, yeah, they're really trying to keep, you know, us how will I say, you know, well rounded, yeah. well formed okay. to go out into the field. Just drifting now away from uni and work, um, let's talk about the social life and nightlife here in Freetown. For uni, mm-hmm. it's very good because you okay. know you have the clubs having their own parties okay. and they have a wide selection of parties. They have you know initiation, yeah. initiation parties oh, really? for new initiate, so oh. they invite their friends and you have the handing over parties, you have just pool parties, pool parties, parties and and yeah, the cocktails, events okay. like that. Yeah. And is it just for the members of the club or can they no, invite more, No, they mostly okay. extend out to it. They do have you know the uh, members only okay. um, parties. set of parties and mm-hmm. setups. That's definitely they do. Okay. But then they're most they have the you know the highlight ones that mm-hmm. they invite people in and because there are so many clubs, you know, there comes a time it's like every weekend. I think even now there are more things you can do here in Terlip. Like it's not just clubbing. Yeah. 
like there is so much more available there are events now that you can find actually interesting and go to yeah so yeah. the night time here especially in december april yeah but also i think uh, the night time for salon mm -hmm. it can also depend on the crowd yeah yes so we can really enjoy oh, yeah definitely yeah. definitely it also depends on the people that we do move with like, yeah speaking of people so what about the dating scene? How on our go, you know, <laughs> what do you have to say about the dating scene in free time? Because I have a lot <laughs> to say. I want to hear some, some of what you have to say. I, I mean, I feel like the dating scene here is very, it's tricky because for what? I feel like free time is so small. Yes, yeah. Everyone yeah. knows everyone. And also, hmm, hmm, these men. <laughs> Is men, I feel like it's just a very different kind of environment. You can't compare it to anywhere else. In my opinion, you can you're not gonna ever find person that's a hundred percent single. It's not possible. Yeah, I think they are. Mm. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because for a very long time I was. I was that person and no one believed me. It. it was so hard. Like you know, you tell people, Oh, I'm single yeah. and they're like, Good idea, you choose. Well you see I'm like, I just, why do they have those views then? There has to be so Yes, true. I think this is one thing that happens. Mm -hmm. One, you have the people who actually just want to have a low-key relationship. Okay. There are those people who, yeah. yeah, they're in a committed or maybe, you know, monogamous relationship. Yeah. And just want to be low-key. Yeah. That is that one. Yeah. And then you have the one who... People who date other people's men or yeah. man or woman, yeah. and you know, it's on the low. Exactly. You so, know. That's something I learned like a few months ago. Yeah, Gigi. It's underground. Yeah. Underground, you know. It's you like, know, maybe just your close friends you know. Yes. Yeah. You know, the okay. side chick, just a yeah. couple of people know. Okay. And then you actually have those that are open about the polygamous yeah that's very true yes you have you have one guy who has like three four girlfriends they all know they're dating the same guy mm -hmm. and they're fine I don't, I don't know if they care yeah. I, I haven't been so i wouldn't know but we know that they have one Vanessa, alone it's just yeah completely different to anything i've ever the is they can the you think there are rules, that's the thing, there are no fixed rules at all. Because there was a time you meet people and they would tell you, say, oh, you ask how they meet, oh, now understanding no more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, well, how how do that? you, you have know? How understand? Like, what does that mean? Well, like, I, I think that's the funniest of me. We say, you know, they meet people and we're really single. single. Yeah. Somebody go dare with to talk to. Like, well, here's yeah. the thing. Ain't not gonna talk and say that ain't got a friend or anybody friend, but then get that. Exactly. Okay, here's my thing. I get that. You know, um, you meet someone, you have a conversation, you talk on the phone, you text, maybe go out a couple of times. Yeah. You know, that's just basic dating. You yeah. You're not really defined. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. But then you need to have a conversation about that. That's all I'm saying. You okay. meet people like definitely if we're just you know hanging out, we're not exclusive. We're just trying to see how this is going. Yeah, we know that both parties know that. But then you meet other people. Yeah, the boy will be like, ah, oh, now me and I'm there. Now we're not there like that. Yeah, like, he will tell everybody that. But then the girl but then is like, she has oh, another well, we did. We're going to do something. That they don't have the, the conversations that yeah, are necessary. So I yeah. think that that's. That is what brings the problem when it comes to relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah, people do not have conversations. Everybody's just like, oh, you like me, oh, you can have me more. So you don't call me every day. Oh, you don't need to be by myself. Oh, my exactly. Like, and no, you don't need to be me. You just write it and I want to tell you. I'm like, not mad, I'm not like. Oh, my God. So, what about you guys? Like, I don't know if you've met people who, like, they'll be in our age group, so like now 20s, mid 20s and you'll find out that they've been in a relationship for like they'll say like 15 years and you're like how is that possible and they're like oh yeah you know we go primary school together and like now you know more asabi so like what uh, yeah <laughs> what what do you guys no. take on that no. <laughs> okay i had the 15 years yeah, so oh. now like five <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I had this one friend and she was in a relationship with a guy since we're in form two. Okay. So and that went on for I think we were together for like eight or nine years. Mm. But they've broken up now. 
but that was in our time that was a long relationship that was a relationship you thought that oh my god they're romantic yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's you do not see that happening in our age you know with our age uh, group yes yeah. most people don't do no, no, no one really stays that long in a relationship. Together, yeah. Tara? Um, I think I've been in a relationship for like five years. Oh, oh I think six, yes. Yeah, six, yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure what the 15 is. Can they two walk Congratulations. Yes, it's, it's, not not easy. Easy. it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not no, easy. I'm, saying, really. I'm just saying, possible. <laughs> But the 15 and in your 20s, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure. I know that you're not going to be in your 20s and you see you're not in a relationship. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. So you touched on age, small. So do you think age is a factor, is a contributing factor to some of these attitudes like, um, you know, dating someone who's your age or older than you? Do you think that, you know? I used to think so, not anymore. Because <laughs> you have 40 year old men behaving like they're 16. Yes. I don't know if you yeah. So no, it's not age. It's not age. The it's only age. the only difference with the age they make, mm -hmm. like obviously if you date somebody maybe in, in parties. Yeah. Maybe you're not dating and that mix with the yeah. young yeah. I don't yeah. understand. It's priority. Yeah, they priority. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so that's true. Maybe they only hang out at the same place or like go. I think that's the only difference. And like maybe they've lived their life in yeah. the sense of yeah. things that maybe a 20 year old would yeah. make yeah. them excited and what they're looking yeah. forward to and such a year old wouldn't kind of be on that level. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay. So just winding down now guys, so I know like you said you're graduating next week. Yeah. Um, what are your future plans and you also have a business Raki's been on our um, on our channel before Raki has a hair business a hair line, a hair care line um so what are your plans now for the future after graduation what are you looking into for jobs what about your side business what are, what are you what do you have planned if those who know me know i have so much <laughs> going on um for now graduating i'm trying to first things first you have to have a stable income so i'm trying to get a job a stable job um, with the either mechanical engineering degree or one along the lines of being a graphics and web designer okay. so yes so try to get a job but always as it should be try to work on my own business on my okay. own side hustle yeah. so you have to have those whichever way you know it takes up time and all but the sacrifices we make now yeah so there's that so there's more coming from shape plus and yeah i'm going to get a fixed income <laughs> you will <laughs> it will <Yeah>. you <laughs> what about you Tara? um me already the work okay yes and of course i also got me side business the same me and kena sister <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Um. The main chronicles. Don't like the walk now. They make you like really difficult. Oh, yes. Yes. It's For like focus and do mm -hmm. things that pertain to the side. Do you find it hard to yeah. balance? Like first of all, no, do you I think it's imperative for someone to have a side hustle in Sierra Leone? Something apart from their nine to five. Do you think it's yeah it's important to have something on the side? And then how do you juggle? having these two things to kind of focus on how do for you do me that? i don't know for other people but for me mm -hmm. it's really difficult mm -hmm. yes like i wouldn't really say difficult. it's in, it's imperative that everybody should because yeah. not everybody can yeah like that's the reality of it yeah but then it's a good thing to have if you can do it as star said it is not easy yeah i'm not kidding you at all at all at all there are days you have these plans for your business you go out there you do work and yeah. you have moments like i'm too tired for this so, yeah yeah so there's all of that to consider so if you've been you're starting a business you have to know it takes a lot of sacrifice yeah. and now the job like the job is taking all my time yeah and i know i don't really do much like even to like do me advertising and like markets and stuff yeah like that. only people that we already know will call me oh i need this and then okay. yes yes but it's a type of guy like new people i don't think i'm doing that much to okay. get new people just the same old people you know just to call say oh i need this for me i need this for me and then yeah and is, yeah. is that something you want to work on for the future yes. okay. okay okay maintaining a good balance is key but i'm I'm sure like over time you'll kind of figure out what works for you yes the dynamics put your time it's I, I definitely think it's something that takes some time um but you'll get there as long as you're passionate about what you're doing yeah, i'm sure you'll get there so that was it guys thank you so much for agreeing to be part of this this episode growing up salon i hope you guys found it very um informative and fun and we'll definitely be seeing more from Raki and Tara. <laughs> Thank you for having me again. And I don't know about you but on my next interview I'm invited again. I know I'm getting my young in free town. Yes. So okay. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work yeah. on it. Yeah. Crop top, top whichever okay. way it's done, which is a young in free. Send in your requests guys. Request for t shirts. Okay. Thanks guys. You're <laughs>
and also Young and Future, we just want to give a shout out to our good friend um, whose hotel we're using at the moment. It's called East West Hospitality and they're located just off Wilkinson Road. Um, all the information and details, the address and stuff down below. But we just want to thank them very much for allowing us to use their space today for filming. Thank you. See you later. Bye. <laughs>